Hello and welcome to Hardware Husky. Today we'll be looking at the Zotac 1066GB Mini and how it performs in 2019. For specs we have 1280 CUDA cores with a base clock of 1506MHz and a boost clock of 1708MHz. This has 6GB of GDDR5 running at 8GHz on a 192-bit bus. For display connectors we have free display port version 1.4 one HDMI 2.0B and a dual link DVI port. This DVI port has no analog signal so if you wanted to use analog display you would need an active converter. The specs for the test system is an Intel 6700K overclocked to 4.5GHz cooled by the Corsair H159 Platinum on a Gigabyte Z170 Gaming 7 motherboard. There are 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro running in dual channel at 3600 MHz. All tests are loaded onto the crucial P1 1TB NVMe SSD which I looked at in my first video. RGB has been enabled for maximum performance. First up is Assassin's Creed Odyssey's benchmark tool running at 1080p with the game's high preset. Though the Sotac 1060 did achieve an average of 62 frames per second, there was some stuttering indicated by the 15 frames per second minimum. Using the medium preset, the Zotac 1060 did much better with a 74 frames per second average and a much smoother 38 frames per second minimum. Next up, we have Borderlands 3's in-game benchmark tool. Borderlands 3 is surprisingly taxing on graphics cards for the look that the game provides. For testing I use DirectX 11, 1080p and medium on the game's preset. On this preset the game still looked good visually and I observed no stuttering with almost 70 frames per second average. I was impressed with the Zotac 1060's performance on this test. On Unige in Heaven I have used the extreme preset setting but running it at 1080p full screen. This test is designed to stress graphics cards but the Zotac 1060 6GB barely broke out a sweat, scoring an average of 60 frames per second, well actually 59.5 but that's close enough for me. Ok, on to our very last test we have Tom Clancy's The Division 2, using the game's built in benchmark tool running on DirectX 11 1080p with the game's high preset. This game ran very smoothly with 64 frames per second average and I did not observe any stuttering while running the game's benchmark. Well, what do I think of the Zotac 1060 Mini? I am genuinely impressed with how well it performed on the test, scoring 60 frames per second or more with the medium slash high preset. With room for more frames per second or visual quality by tweaking a few settings here and there. With the card only having one 90mm fan on an all aluminium heatsink you'd think the Zotac would be hot and noisy but that's not the case. With max temperatures around 75 degrees a single 90mm fan noise blended in with a system fan and this was on the standard fan curve. I'm generally impressed with the Zotac 1060. It performed so well. The only point I could criticise is the card not having fan stop feature but this is not really an issue as the card is quiet in my opinion. I would definitely be more than happy if this was my full time graphics card. Please like, subscribe and comment on how I can improve and thank you very much for watching. This is Hardware Husky out.